Welcome to this training video, guys. This is John Belcher. I promise you I'm going to reveal to you five steps to creating wealth in your life and in your business, right? These are going to be very simple five steps that anyone could follow in the world, right? Literally, it doesn't matter what you're doing from business to sports, anything of that nature, you'll be able to have a lot of success if you just follow this five-step blueprint uh, and apply it to your life and apply it to whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, so now... I was actually hanging out, right, just chilling out, having a good old time. I was about to go out, have a good night, uh, fun out, out on the town and stuff. But I decided to do this little quick training video because I know you need it. I know somebody out there is about to have a breakthrough and experience success in their life. Now, it's going to be five steps, right? Five steps to creating wealth. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now the number one thing, the first thing that always happens before some type of success or a life change happens is you got to have an idea. That's the very first thing. An idea is usually the first spark to any type of uh, situation being moved, right? Usually you get an idea and then after that you formulate some type of plan of action and then the results come. But the problem is that most people in this world, they get an idea and it just stays in their head, right? It stays as an idea for the rest of their life and they never actually truly live a life uh, of purpose, right? They never actually reach their dreams because the idea just stays an idea. But if you just think about it, right, you look at the railroads, look at highways, look at buildings, skyscrapers, casinos, anything you think of, even technology, right, airplanes, anything you could think of on this earth came from somebody having an idea, right? If it wasn't for somebody having an idea, a lot of things that we could do a lot easier, a lot faster today, we're only able to do that thanks to the person who got that idea first. So the very first step you've got to follow in creating wealth, creating money in your online business is you've got to have an idea, right? And that makes me think back to the time when I was working at my security job making eight fifty an hour. I was sitting at that desk every day, right? I was just hating it. I was like, yo, why am I doing this, right? I could do so much more purposeful things in the world. And I just knew that there had to have been a better way. And what happened was I came up with an idea, right? I came up with an idea. Ooh, something popped in my mind. I'm like, oh shit, I can do that, right? I could take action on that. So that's what happened. I got an idea. That was the first thing I got was an idea. And then I said, you know what? People are out there making money as their own bosses. People are out there making money as their entrepreneurs. I see people online having success. So I got an idea to go to an event to learn more about network marketing, to learn more about online business and stuff like that. And from there, my life changed, right? So it's all started from an idea. Now, the second thing, right, you must have to go along with that idea is you have to have a vision, right? You gotta have a vision. Now, what do I mean by a vision, right? I mean, basically where you see yourself going. Right. And where you see this idea after you take action on this idea, what is it going to allow you to do in your life? That's the vision. Right. Is it going to allow you to travel more? Is it going to allow you to spend more free time with your children? Is it going to allow people to be able to quit their jobs? Is it going to allow people to be able to earn six figures a year? What is the vision of your idea? A lot of people, the problem is that they're stuck on this, these first two steps. Right. They, they get stuck on the idea and they may have a vision, but. The problem is it just stays in your mind when it's just an idea and it's just a vision. It's all in here, right? It's all in here. But I can tell you from my experience from online business, everything that was all up here that I didn't actually take action on, I could never get the result from because the action wasn't backing up the ideas and the vision that I had. Now, a lot of times people will tell you, go create videos and stuff like that uh, to, to promote your business and advertise your business, whether you may be a Motor Club or America, any business, it doesn't matter, right? And they tell you to promote and people do all of these videos. But if you don't have a vision in your videos, if you don't tell people what you're trying to do, where you're headed, right? A vision is basically this. One of my visions is to create 106 figure earners in one year, right? That's my vision. I want 100 people to be free from their nine to five jobs, earning six figures a year from creating their own income without a boss, without an alarm clock, just living their life on purpose. That's my vision, right? Now, think about that for a second. That's something that Millions and millions of people that can be a part of that vision, right? Millions and millions of people are out there trying to make six figures a year. Millions and millions of people out there trying to become financially free. So with that vision, it's very appealing. So now when I make a video and I speak my vision, people hit me up to join. Why? Because they know that they can be a part of this vision and change their life, change their circumstances. So odds are if you're doing videos and you're doing a lot of promotions, but nobody's joining you, you're not getting consistent sales, it's most likely because your vision sucks, right? That's just honestly what it is at the end of the day. Your vision sucks. You don't have a vision for yourself and you don't have a vision for other people. You got to have a vision because even the person, Mark Zuckerberg, who created Facebook, he had a vision for what Facebook might be someday, right? 
Even you could think about basketball players who, who continue to practice. They have a vision of how good they're going to be someday. They see themselves ahead of time, right? Before they're even successful, they already see themselves having that success. So you've got to have a vision, right? When I was at the security desk, I had a vision of me being able to quit my job. I had a vision of me being able to help other people in the world. And because of that vision, it constantly kept me on track. And a lot of people out there, they lack vision, right? And when you lack vision, you perish. You lack vision, you perish because you don't have no direction. You don't have no roadmap on where you want to go. So you always want to have a vision backing your idea, right? So now, after that vision, right, once you have a vision, after that is you got to have a plan, right? You got the idea already. You know what you want to do. You have a vision for it. The next thing, the third step is you got to have a plan, a plan of action, right? Now, a lot of times people can't get from the idea and the vision step, right? Why? Because they lack education. That's the only reason. When somebody has an idea and a vision and they're not able to execute on that idea and their vision, the reason why is because they lack education. That's simply what it is at the end of the day, right? And then now a person who has the education but doesn't actually take action, that's just called procrastination, right? So education, education is key. Education is what's going to allow you to Take that idea, take that vision, and actually manifest something from it and create something from it. So after those two things are, are set, you gotta have a plan of action, right? And what I mean by plan is you gotta have a step-by-step -step blue uh, plan of what you're gonna do. This is the action part, right? This is the action, right? Plan is the action, right? And you must have a, a plan that you can work on daily. A daily plan, right? A daily plan. And I recommend it be something very simple that you do, right? Literally within just three steps a day, right? Just three steps a day, you should be able to follow this plan to be able to make your vision come true, right? So you've got to have at least three steps. Make it simple as possible. Very simple to the point where you could explain it to a five-year-old and actually they'll know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, my plan is every day I create some type of form of content, right? Send out an email to my list. And I go about ways of marketing and increasing that list and building my list and stuff like that. So that's my plan of action. It's very easy to follow. Every day I can follow that and get results. But you want to follow a plan daily, right? If you really want to change your life, you really want to be able to experience freedom, independence, experience a, a purposeful life, you got to be willing to act daily. you got to have a plan that you can work on daily. Now, Plan. The only reason why your plan is not going the way you may want it to go is, once again, it's education, right? But in the process of when you're, you're taking action on your plan, what's going to happen, right? What's going to happen? You're going to reach roadblocks, right? There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be things you're going to encounter that you probably didn't think you were going to encounter, but you're going you're gonna to have to get over that, right? And that's, that's the process of life. That's anything. Business, sports, relationships, uh, school, right? When you start taking action on your plan, the reason why you got to take action on your plan is to see is if your plan works, right? So after you, once you start taking action on your plan, what's going to happen is you're going to get feedback, right? You're going to get feedback. And that feedback is going to tell you whether or not your plan can be adjusted, whether or not your plan should be fixed, right? Whether or not there's an issue with the plan, the action that you're taking, right? But you got to realize that the purpose of executing your plan and taking action is to figure out what to do to get better, right? As you go on your journey, you reach this roadblock. Okay, cool. What do I do here to adjust that? You get over that roadblock. You keep going on your journey, keep having more success. You reach another obstacle, right? Okay, cool. How do I solve this obstacle? All that's happening is you're gaining more experience and you're gaining more exposure to any possible uh, adversities, right? Any possible uh, obstacles in your business. And what happens is the more you overcome these obstacles, the more experience you have, the more success you're going to have because you're going to know how to handle it better later on, right? It's kind of like when they say they give you a shot, right? At the doctor, they say they're going to give you a vaccine. And the vaccine is supposed to be a small dose of the actual disease or the actual whatever the virus is, right? The reason why is because they want your body to become familiarized with those viruses, with those bacteria, so that if it ever comes up for real in your life, they will have the uh, the cells or whatever the case may be to fight it off, right? Sorry about that, guys. My phone's actually ringing. Somebody's probably trying to join the business. So, yeah. So you gotta have, uh, be willing to take action on your plan, right? And, and know that there is gonna be temporary defeats, right? This always gonna happen. It's never gonna be just 100% smooth sailing. So understand that. But once you have a plan that's working, right? Remember what I said, education. The only reason why your plan may not go in the, the way it's supposed to go is because you don't have the education on what you're supposed to do. So that's why you're supposed to invest into books, read books, 
right? Uh, listen to audios, personal development audios, buy training, invest into training, invest into coaching from people who are getting the results you want because that's going to educate you. So now your plan is going to be more sufficient. Your plan is going to be more effective. So now you already have the idea, you have the vision, you have a plan. Once you have a game plan that's tight, Forget about it. Success, right? Forget about it. Money's going to come. Money's going to come as long as your plan is tight. Now, after that, once you've got a plan that's working, we want to start scaling. We want to start scaling up, right? We want to start scaling up, which means if something is working, increase the amount of how much is working, right? If you're getting 10 leads a day doing something, increase whatever you're doing so you can get 20 leads a day. Increase whatever you're doing so you can get 30 leads a day. Whatever, whenever you have a plan that starts working, increase it, increase it, right? Get it up there higher, right? So that you can serve more people. So that's the next step is you got to scale up. Nobody wants to stay. The purpose of human beings is we always want to grow. We always want to be progressing. We always want to be excelling, right? We don't want to just stay in one spot. And that was me and my security job. I was, felt like I was stuck receiving the same paycheck every single week when I could work for myself and make more money and outdo my, there's no cap. I don't like caps on my income. I don't like caps on my success. And with nine to five jobs, there's a lot of cap on your success. There's a lot of cap on your income. But if you follow these five steps, you'll be able to create that income for yourself and it'll just be limitless, right? It'll be all up to you. Success will be all up to you. So the next step is you got to scale up whatever is working. And the last step, the last step, the fifth step, which is a very important step, has to do with education. This is the one that's going to put it all together for you. Step number five is mentorship. Mentorship, right? You gotta find somebody having success in the business that you're doing, right? Or the business, whatever uh, industry that you're in. You gotta find somebody who's been through what you haven't been through yet so that they can help you up, right? Because if somebody's having success in your industry and in your business and they're getting the results that you wanna get, what that means is odds are they've done been through all the trials and tribulations of failing. They done met all the obstacles already, right? They had to jump all the hurdles. They had to break down all the walls. So what that means is that they're at a position to mentor you to tell you, no, make a left, no, make a right, don't do that, do this, right? Because what's gonna happen is, they're gonna help you to get to your goal much faster than them. Because since they're already up here already, they can easily pull you up to their level because they know what it takes to go from point A to point B in your life, right? So you gotta think about that. Mentorship is the most important thing after you've gotten your, uh, your plan together, your vision, your idea, and you start scaling, find a mentor, somebody that you could work one-on-one -on -one with, right? Somebody that can show you the ropes one-on-one -on -one, and you have that undivided attention where I tell, I'll tell you right now, invest in their coaching, invest in their training because it's only going to allow you more success because you're going to be more educated. You're going to be more educated. Education is key in anything that you're doing. If you don't know, if you don't know, you can't show, right? If you don't know, you can't show. I like to come up with these sayings and stuff like that, guys. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to go through these steps one more time really fast as a quick summary. And I'm telling you, these five steps you can apply to anything in your life. Step number one, when you get an idea... That's the first number thing. The number one thing is you get an idea, right? Once you get that idea, formulate a vision with that idea. What is this idea going to allow you to do? What is it going to change about your situation? What is it going to change about your family's situation? What is it going to change for other people's situation? That's the vision of your idea. Most people only get stuck on these first two steps. They never, ever get past step two, right? But step three, once you get past step three, I mean past step two, you're already on your way to success, and that's plan. Set out a plan, an action plan that you can take daily to get the results that you want. Step four, once you figure out a plan that's working pretty decent and is giving you some results that you want, start scaling up. Start scaling up, increasing it, right? Making more of an impact, serving more people, right? Providing more products, more services, right? Whatever you got to do, scale that up. And then the fifth step, be sure to find a mentor. Somebody that you could work with one-on-one -on -one because they're going to allow you to get to your goals quicker. They're going to allow you to get your dreams quicker because they're going to be able to basically guide you, be like a guidance and a support system to help you, you know, bob and weave your way through all the hurdles of, of getting to success, right? We all know on the journey to success, there will be hurdles, there will be, will be obstacles, but what's going to what's gonna determine how much obstacles and hurdles you got to jump is going to be based on if you got one-on-one -on -one mentorship or not, guys. So that's pretty much it. You follow these five steps, and I promise you, you will have create more money in your life. You will create more wealth in your life, guys. Like I said, this is Jonathan Belch. I just want to share this information with you, share this valuable knowledge with you, because these were the five steps that I wish I would have known when I first got started in business, and I finally know it now, so I'm able to share that with you and tell you what you need to do to have success as well. I will see you guys in the next training video. Jonathan Belcher, peace.